Let's bring in decorated Green Beret and Florida Congressman Michael Waltz. He was at a rally in Florida with the president last week. Um, You're not supposed to be at that one, and there had been one scheduled for tonight. Um, right. Congressman, I do want to read to you one tweet from a member of your Florida delegation, Marco Rubio, who's on the Senate Intel Committee. He said, any adversary who views news of a POTUS testing positive of, as an opportunity to test the United States would be making a grave mistake. Maybe have you expand on that a little bit. Yeah, thanks, Dana. Well, we know the president is a fighter. He has a lot of energy and, and thoughts and prayers to him and Melania and pulling through this in the coming days. But to your point and Senator Rubio, so many people are focused on you know, the effect on politics. Yeah. Uh, I'm focused on the country and his role as the leader of the free world. And I would hope to see soon a reassuring message from the president uh, that uh, reassures the country, our markets, our allies, but importantly, to the senator's point, sends a very clear message to our adversaries, rogue states like Iran, North Korea, China, Russia, that uh, the national command and th authority is absolutely intact. Our nuclear forces, which he leads, uh, are always on alert to defend this nation. You know, Dana, it's always worth remembering we have more people overseas, more men and women in uniform overseas than Canada, the UK and Australia combined. Mm -hmm. uh, and his most important role is as the commander in chief. And we need to be very clear to our allies and our adversaries that that role is not altered one bit. Uh, right now. That was interesting and a good point. Maybe ask you to expand on this as well. Uh, the idea that you think that, um, that we need to see the president today or we need to hear from the president today. What would be in your mind ideal? Would you like to see a video message or is a written statement enough? Well, I, no, I think it would be great for, again, for the country, our allies and our adversaries to see the president. Uh, even, you know, there's some reportings that he has mild symptoms, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, I, you know, I, every time I've been around him, he has fought through everything that has been thrown at him and is just full of energy and that he is in full command and control uh, of, of our nation's armed forces. And I just want to say very quickly, uh, uh, Dana, you know, I was at the rally with him last week. He, everyone that around him has been tested. He is tested every day. You know, he, he's... He doesn't like germs just by nature and naturally keeps his distance. And on these new, uh, the way they're doing these rallies now by the airports, the plane pulls up, he's off, gives his speech, and he's back on. So All this right. notion that they weren't taking precautions, I think, is ridiculous. And for those kind of cheering on the fact that this has happened is sad. You know, he's our president. His success is our success and the country's but success. Mike, I mean, and I, that's how we need to approach it. I, yeah. some, I mean, they have protocols and can all be as safe as we can possibly be. But still, this did happen. So, um, you know, we're all going to just get through this and hope that they get uh, recovered very quickly. Thank you, Congressman. Yeah, thank you so much, Dana. Appreciate it.